there's magic inside of you. Blessings to all of you beautiful beings, it's Elena and I'm enchanted to be here on my channel. Hello and welcome, I'm so glad that you're here. If you're new, consider liking, subscribing, becoming part of my little YouTube family and if you've been here before, hello and welcome back to each and every one of you amazing, fantastic, bright and beautiful individuals right across the screen. Lots of love, lots of warm hugs and hopefully you and yours are safe on today's video. I am pretty excited to unbox a new set of cards. This is called the Glow Wood Tarot. And the creator of this contacted me and was willing to gift me one of her sets so that I could share it with you. And I am super duper excited. Oh, you could see my camera reflection on the top. <laughs> I'm super, super duper excited to check it out. Um, I believe this deck just got published mid-February and available for purchase. So it's brand new. It is fresh and I am thrilled to be one of the first people to check it out. I'm going to have all of the links and all of the information about these cards down in the description below if you guys want to go check it out. And I am thrilled to share her beautiful art with you. So it comes in this very fancy box and it came wrapped up in the bubble wrap of CC. So I get, you know, double the gift. I get the fun of tarot cards and then I get the fun of popping all of these. My favorite is to do this. Literally just roll it up and then that's satisfying. <laughs> All right, let's see what goodies we have in here. Come on, wiggle, wiggle. Ooh. It has that like fresh, brand new book smell, which is exciting. On the top, we have a little cotton burlap bag. I assume it's cotton, it feels kind of like cotton. To hold your cards, if you wish. We have a nice little emblem on the front of it. Then we have her, ooh, chunky information, but like, look at all of that. First of all, I love the little line work doodles on the cover page. Let's see. We have, ooh, the mugwort, interesting. So I'm not sure, is it a tarot card or is it oracle cards? Um, all right, I'm, oh, it's an oracle card deck. Oops, 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 super sorry. This is an oracle card deck and we really have a good amount of information per card. So Stag Beetle, Stinging Nettle, let's see, ooh, well that's interesting, I guess as, oh, all right, before even opening up these cards, they have little symbols on the top which she also provides information on. Oh, this is super interesting. This is unique, I love it. Let's see, do we have... This is awesome. This will be a very interesting book to go through. Like it's, it's large, I love it. So onto the cards themselves. I think this might be why I misinterpreted them as tarot cards because they're not as large as like a traditional oracle card size would be. Love the back of it. How it has this like tree tree design or like roots design or both depends on how you hold it nice that's exciting 
I am very, very excited to look at these. Ooh, I love the colors in this. Okay, first off, the cards. The cards are a bit more stiff than a usual playing card would be, but um, I think I do prefer that for oracle cards since they don't get shuffled around as much as a tarot card would. Um, the edges are finished, would definitely would prolong the life of the cards. And they do have some shine to them. They're kind of matte when looking at them, but they do have a little bit of a shine to it. So that would also help preserve the cards a little longer. I love their size. I absolutely love their size. I have little hands, so <laughs> shuffling cards that are smaller definitely makes it easier. And this is a pretty large deck for Oracle cards. Let me see how many cards it has has 78 cards. Ooh, that's awesome. All right, I'm gonna move things out of the way. Let's start reviewing them and then I'm gonna go over the whole shuffling thing and kind of my impressions. But let's take a look. Yeah, so the little symbols in the corners have meaning in her book, which she explains. That's pretty cool. Spider wasp. What? That's that's a, I that's an actual <laughs> that combines literally my two biggest fears. <laughs> I am terrified of spiders and not a big fan of wasps. Because okay, moving on. I don't like the thought of that. These are gorgeous. I love the edges and the color choices with this like muted earthy tones. Love it. Birch and little mushrooms. Lots of mushrooms over here. Interesting. That looks pretty cool. Okay, first of all, the fact that it's all nature based obviously has the term wood in it is definitely up my alley. If clover pretty. I enjoy her artwork. It's kind of like detailed enough to be considered like detailed, but also just kind of like shadows and I don't know how to explain this. It's almost like line work with a little bit of colors to give it that extra detail, that perfect amount without being super overwhelming. I do like how the cards are labeled for what this card is, but I, I would prefer like little kind of a cheat sheet type of thing of what the card means. I'm sure the things in like the little doodles in the corners and things like that might have resemblance, resemblance or information for it. Let me kind of take a look. Yes, so, um, so this would kind of like have a little bit of information on it, give it a brief thing, like support. I don't see that there, but that would require learning these extra symbols to be able to kind of read the cards quicker. But, um, though for like Oracle cards, if I, had a perfect preference having a little kind of like cheat sheet what the oracle card is like very very brief so that if i want to do a quicker reading i don't have to kind of work with the book and find that type of stuff but i do love booklets that have a big kind of information thing on the cards themselves something very similar to what she has so that it has a like a very in-depth explanation for the cards as well
pretty. Harry Sedge, that's interesting. I love all the names for these plants. Or I love all the plants with their names. Lily of the Valley, one of my favorite flowers. I wonder if she has lilac in here. That's my topmost favorite flower. Mayflies are kind of creepy. They just congest with so many of them that it looks a little intense when a swarm of them kind of comes into play. <laughs> oak also one of my favorite energies to work with so common common in Belarus where I'm from it hurts <laughs> oh I love this art I also really enjoyed the fact that she kind of has the overall picture of it and then a close-up portion it's totally nice Another bug I'm not a fan of. Ah, got goosebumps just thinking about it. <laughs> there was one time I shared it in my Instagram stories way back when that um, my husband was gone. He was on a business trip and there was this like house centipede thing on the ceiling and the thing was chunky. The thing was big and I was absolutely and totally freaking out about it. So I got my vacuum cleaner vacuumed it up and then I didn't touch my vacuum cleaner for three days <laughs> terrified that it might crawl out and then I ended up going outside to dump out what was in the vacuum again terrified that if I put it in my trash the thing's gonna still be alive when that that was traumatic <laughs> I also really enjoy the fact that she put in kind of less common woodsy creatures that are not as, how do I put it, like super aesthetic or super pretty like a butterfly or something that's kind of cute and fun, but she puts in like real, not necessarily real because they're all real, but she definitely shared a lot of more creatures type of thing. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? And the last one. Awesome! I absolutely love this deck. Definitely also like the edges. Nice shiny black edges and the colorings of this. Totally. So in regards to shuffling, pretty much like, get back over here, pretty much like tarot card deck, average tarot card deck size, which I am totally for. Love the size of these cards. So here is that. These were 
definitely a delight to go through, especially the artwork and the color choices muted. It's like you're kind of walking through the forest because these are all the colors that you would be seeing. Wonderful. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, the whole shebang. We have tons of magical fun here. And since you've made it all the way to the end, let's do a little card reading for you to see what wisdom these cards want to share with you. So let's let's do this a little differently than what I used to do. I'm gonna do it like that, do it like that, do it like this. Okay, that works too. Because I was gonna kind of do it like that, but that one seemed to pop out perfectly on its own. Let's see what we have. And we have the bitter oyster. What does she have to say about the bitter? Oh, there's more symbolisms. Ah, those are different tarot card reading suggestions. Okay. Um, the bitter oyster. So Latin name, Panellus stipticus. I totally butchered it, but we're going with that. Type of fungus, symbol, detox, early longevity, transform. Associations, reduces birch, beech, oak, hornbeam, pine, alder, willow. Description. There may only be a small vernal ver <laughs> Oh my gosh, reading, reading, saying words. Not fun today. There may only be a small ver vul vulnerability, a crack inside the larger body. More dramatically, a past adventure may in fact already be fully over. The book along the book long closed and put away on a shelf or unceremoniously cast aside and rotting in a dark corner of the mind. For the bitter oyster, it is only the beginning of what could be a long journey. It is likely hidden, announcing itself only at the peak of its own success, when expanding its range and when all factors are in its favor. Its work is the internalization and distillation of acquired skills, resources, knowledge, and experience, especially those hardened parts to so monolithic and solid with history, it is a wonder they can be reused at all. Success depends on adequate intuitive flows, openness, permeability, dissemination. The oyster may rely on friends, messengers, and alliances for help in this. For them, it plays an illuminating, guiding role in darkness. Its presence is indicative. Indic its presence is indicative of the earlier stages of quests, first long-term projects and relationships, pioneering endeavors in fields that are meant for greater heights and further iterations. Do not be discouraged. This is that folding that is followed by an opening on another, deeper turn of the coil. Nice. Keywords, it is all beginning, alluring, unwinding, liberating. Cooperative with mobile agents, pointing out that which no longer serves. Pointing out that which could serve the project better in a different state, with different applications providing a special message in the dark. Look around. Ooh, I like that. That was a pretty deep, that was a pretty deep reading. That's awesome. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this video and enjoyed the reading. Let me know if it does resonate with you and if you've made it all the way to the end. Let's do a little emoji down in the section below of something that reminds you of the woods. And with that, I'll see all of you beautiful souls on the next video. Love you all. Bye.